Well, we don't give I don't give Sadie her injections, so I need to go get some more syringes. She's got one more vial. It's the strongest vial, and uh, we're gonna talk about silver. I'm gonna give you some information, and you know, I, it's sort of strange. I'm not saying that it hasn't been up on the internet, but I just haven't run across it. Nobody said anything to me, and. I knew of the meeting from the uh, CFTC that was held on January 14th and people could have viewed what was said about it by Ted Butler on King World News right after it happened, but he talked about, they had actually mentioned uh, metals during the meeting and because the meeting was focused more on energy, they set aside a date for a meeting on metals, an exclusive meeting on metals. Now, this guy got a chance to go. Now, this is uh, this is really good news, you know, and for people to not really have known about it or haven't been aware of it, you know, this put my heart, you know, it put my heart to pounding. You know, actually, it's good news for us all, but at the same time, if we haven't been investors already of silver and gold for only a little time, then, you know, some people has got to really get on the ball and do their do diligence and researching and make up your mind that this is what you're going to do or not. But Commissioner Bart Chilton, and I'm going to post a video link that's going to take you directly to the CFTC website webcast link. And if you go to the link you can download it or you can open it up in uh, Windows Media Player or Real Player. Now, at the very beginning, uh, Chairman Gary Gensler is, the meeting is about position limits, okay? EOT, Commitment of Traders, limits, position limits, and the futures. So whenever they got to minute mark, 40 minutes and 30 seconds, Mark Chilton, he explains the fact that the meeting is not entirely, uh, is not, cannot be focused, but mentioned maybe, about the metals. So he gives us his time to discuss position limits by the COT. And that he is very concerned about this. And it is discussed in opinions that one of the staff members that's been questioned agrees in his own opinion, uh, in his own opinion that there, yes, there should be position limits. Now, people, this is good news. So this is excellent news, you know. So, so people out there that has always said, well, you know, they ain't gonna do nothing about it. You know, this this will never happen. Who's to say it won't happen? They are now going to hold a meeting by the CFTC on March the 25th, and it will be, I understand it will be live, so you will be able to go to that particular site, save that site, and listen to it. They're going to be discussing metals. Now, you know, this is good news. Of course, if they can agree to a ruling on the metals position limits, then of course they can't make it a rule right then to change everything. It'll have to go to Congress. Okay. Now this is a, this is something that, that people have been wanting to hear about for such a long time. You know. So are we at the point where? We are actually possibly seeing lows of silver right now. Could it drop down a little bit more before everything happens? Of course. 
That's not to say that everything is going to be taking place immediately, but it can the the meeting could possibly give us a a positive outlook on what's going to be happening in the future with these limits. It is and it has been recognized by Commissioner Mark Chilton that there is one trader, one trader that is hold that holds 23% of the position limits in silver. And he said that is too much for one trader to hold. So if they can set these position limits, they, these prices cannot be manipulated. And he offers and he says that yes, that these these position limits could be causing manipulation. So for them to even give us the time of day on metals with a hearing is great news, people. Great news. Well, here I am. We're here. At, oh, you can't mess with nobody. We're here now. We're going to come in here. Hey, this is Sadie's veterinarian. And we're going to walk in here and give us some new syringes. So, people, I'm going to post the link to the webcast of the hearing on January the 14th, 2010. This is great news, people. Take the time and go. Oh, oh. Hush. 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 Oh. Come here. That dog will eat you up. And take the type of time, people, to realize that you need to visit this website and get your own opinion of how you feel about things that are going to turn out. And as I say, for you people who hasn't bought in the silver, this could very possibly be a chance that you want to take either. We may not see silver go down. Hush now, sit down, sit down, good girl. We may not see silver like we've seen it in the past, no way down. You know, am I right? I don't know. This is just a fear that I've got. You know, that I know this, at the first of the month, plus some money that I've already saved up, I'm gonna be dumping it all into silver one more time. And of course, I always suggest and recommend buying the silver. Buy as much of it as you can. We may be possibly seeing something that's been in the taking of investigating and actually come out into the daylight now of about the manipulation of silver. And we should all thank Ted Butler for all the years, almost 30 years, he has focused on the manipulation of silver to bring it to a fair market price. Y'all have a good day.